Hello and welcome back to GFM Kids after the Christmas break. I hope you all had a good Christmas and some of you might have stayed up to see in the new year. People often see the new year as a chance for a new beginning or a fresh start and some people make resolutions about changes they're going to make to improve their life. You might have made some yourself. Maybe you said, I'm going to get my homework done and hand it in on time or Maybe I'm going to tidy up my bedroom the first time I'm asked or to practice more on your musical instrument or to eat more fruit and veg and far less sweets and chocolates. Although I have to say, those sound like the sorts of resolutions your mum and dad wish you would make. Well, today we're going to be thinking about... Uh, I'm sorry about that. I'm not sure what Paul's up to in his workshop. Uh, if it happens again, I'll go and check it out. Oh! Okay, okay. I'm sorry about this. We can't continue. I'll just go and see if I can sort it out. Paul, what are you doing that's making me... Hey, Paul! Do you think you could do something a little less noisy? I'm trying to record for GFM Kids. Can't have all this noise. Oh, sorry about that. Hello, kids. It's good to good to see you again. It's a I was cutting some steel up, and it's a it's a thirsty job. So I think while you were doing the recording, I'll stop and have a cup of tea, and I'll join you. I've got a mug somewhere in here. Um, oh, here it is. Ah, oh. it's a bit mucky. Oh, dear. Yeah. Um, right, let's wipe it down. Oh no, that's made it worse. Uh, right, what else can I do? I know what, engine cleaner. I've cleaned lots of engines with this stuff before. And it, an engine's much bigger than a mug, so this should work. Let's try that and now a little wipe down. Oh, it's coming up. It's looking quite good now, isn't it? Mind you, I still don't really want to drink out of it. I think I'd better go and put it in the dishwasher and wash it properly. Eyes are a bit messy at times, aren't they? We say things that, that we don't mean to, to say, we do things we don't mean to do, and things get a bit messy, a bit like my mug. And then we try and clean things, we try and make things better, don't we? You know, we. I tried the oily rag on it and it made it worse. I tried the, clean, the engine cleaner and that cleaned it apparently, but it, still, but, but it still wasn't safe to drink and it wasn't right to drink. The only way to clean it properly is to either use washing up liquid and hot water or put in a dishwasher. So I'm going to put this in the dishwasher and it'll make it come safe to drink. Right, here we are. Tablet in and we'll set it going. Shouldn't take very long. Wonderful, lovely, lovely, nice clean cup. Now I can have my tea. Tea bag, hot water, and some milk. Ah, that's great. Very really good. Let's go and sit down and have this brew now. Well, I'm glad that Paul washed that mug properly so it was clean and safe to drink out of. It took him a few goes before he found the right way to sort it out though. At the start of the video, I was talking about New Year resolutions and the way people try to set goals or have good intentions about how they'll sort themselves out and improve their lives. But our lives can be a bit like that mug. We may have good intentions to get things right, just like the clean mug. We may even make New Year resolutions, but somehow we just seem to mess things up. 
The Bible says we all mess things up. The Bible calls it sin. We say things that hurt people and we do things we know we shouldn't do. And we don't do the things we know we should be doing. But there is good news. When we decide to follow Jesus and we say sorry for all the wrong things we say and do, and we really mean it, he forgives us and washes us clean and we can have a fresh start. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you that you love us. Thank you that we know when we come to you and say sorry for the wrong things we've done, you will forgive us and give us a fresh start. Amen. Well, when Paul finished his cup of tea, the mug will be dirty again and need washing again, but that's okay because he knows now what to do to get it clean again. I'm reading my B.I.B. early and this is what it says to me. It tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how J.E.S.U.S. came down to us and gave his best. Without a doubt the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need So I remember this Let's go! When you ask, He cares When you see, He's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door When you ask, He cares When you see, He's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door Tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how J.S.U.S. came down to us and gave his best. Out of doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need. So I remember this. Let's go. When you ask, he cares. When you see, he's there. When you knock, knock. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. When you ask, He cares. When you seek, He's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door.